what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're doing season two episode six of black sales now last episode um was juicy it was juicy you know what i'm saying and in both literal and you know figuratively <laughs> you know it was a juicy episode you know um finding out that flint is actually bisexual um um maybe you could say that he leans more to the um to the to the gay side you know what i'm saying um than the bisex than the woman side you know heterosexual side but um but at the same time the way the way how i see it is that it was a approved triangle you know what i'm saying three of them just loved each other so much they couldn't choose i don't know if she felt it in that scene when they when they kissed i don't know the look that was on her face you know what i'm saying was she disappointed i don't know i i don't know because how can you feel some sort of way about this though that's the thing like how can you feel some sort of way about this when you were actually sleeping with this dude too like it was a it was a approved triangle let's just leave it at that so we left off with flint and um vane getting into it you know up in that room and that's how it ended they just decided to end the episode with flint with a knife to his throat with vane on top of him really <laughs> you know what i mean but anyways, guys, let's jump into it. Let's not waste any more time. We're going to watch this. Then I'll have my thoughts after. You already know what to do. Go watch the reaction. Come back here. All these episodes, um, they go on early access early. So you want to jump on that. If you want to see my episodes early, make sure to sign up for, or for, for the membership on the channel. Just hit the join button and let's get it. See you guys for the review. All right, so that was episode six of season two. Um, enjoying it, I get it. You know, um, one of those episodes is a little bit more slower pace. Not lot happening, to be honest. Um, the situation with with Jack is just one of those lucky bastards, man. Um, such a lucky dude, you know. I thought he was gonna die. I swear, I thought he was gonna die. I was rooting for him though, cause his character is needed in this series. His character is needed. But let's talk about more important things like Billy, giving them the information, letting them know that England has plans to come take the place. They're set up like 40 miles out from where they at right now. You know what I'm saying? And they are preparing for an attack. He washed up on the beach. Dude made him a, a deal for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, him and, and, and eight other people. Like, why nine? You know what I'm saying? Like, why nine pardons? Like, that's kind of like, it's kind of weird. The number is so odd. Nine. It's like you and eight other people get pardoned if you guys can deliver Flint. So they want Flint. They still want Flint. And this can be an issue because if this is known in Parliament that they've been trying to get flint him approaching peter ash can be an issue going forward because you know with the daughter you know if they're planning an attack because at first i didn't actually know who that guy was that was talking to billy at the time i actually thought that he washed up on the shore where the orca was and they found him i thought that's where he was but that's not where he was he completely described a completely different place so um i don't know if flint is i don't know did he tell flint about that part of it no he didn't tell him about the the whole you know you know screwing him over part but did he talk about like you know because i was saying you escape when he said that or when he was about to say that um i thought you know what i'm saying i was like you escape dude you were how did you escape? <laughs> you know, I was thinking about that in my head, but it, but then he cleared it up for me. He's like, I did not escape. They offered him a deal. 
Um, so we got them working together. Seems like Eleanor is planning to break this girl out without Vane knowing, which I don't think she's gonna. I think she's gonna be on her way out, and Vane is gonna catch her. You know what I'm saying? Because she didn't actually confirm anything with with Vane or anything like that. But when it comes on to um, Flint and you know the plan and you know it's a long shot, man. What they're planning here. It's a long shot. And to be honest, I don't see it happening. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't see it happening. Um, because It's it's a long shot, bro. It's a long shot. Um, but, hey. If, if that's the route they want to go. But, you know. Um, interesting, Mr. Guthrie. He said something very interesting to Flynn that I that I think makes a lot of sense is like dude you can't do both but he, he's like I have to figure out a way to do both you know stealing the, the the orca gold and then having this guy you know make a case for him in parliament is it's gonna be it's gonna be a task on top of a task because it's like oh pirates just raided our orca ship and took our took millions in gold you know what i'm saying like how can you vouch for a guy like that you know if you're not going to disturb the peace between england and spain at this point it's it's something <laughs> it's all i'm trying to say it's a problem and i don't think i don't think flint flint knows the gravity of it but you know what I'm saying? Like, he can't go to his men and be like, we can't recover the Orca Gold because we're trying to do this. Because remember, not everybody is going to jump on board. Most of the guys are like vain. You know what I'm saying? Like, very selfish. They're not going to look at the bigger picture because they want the riches. They want everything now. They don't want to wait because that's the issue is that when it comes on to you being a, a thief or a criminal... You know, one of the things that pushes you to continue to do it is because you want everything right now. You know what I'm saying? You don't think about the long-term causes of things. You know what I'm saying? If, if you look at the most successful, um, if you want to say successful criminals of all time that we've heard of that are infamous, they were very patient people. You get what I'm saying? very patient when it comes when it comes on to not necessarily how they run the business but how they become profitable like you get what i'm saying like they wait they they wait wait around for their their time or timing is everything you know what i'm saying so i definitely agree with you know what i'm saying what flint is doing versus what vane wants because He's saying that they could do this, this, and that, and whatever. You know what I'm saying? And Eleanor just pr making promises because she's now planning to break this girl out without him knowing. And the thing about it is that Vane is never going to see bigger picture because he feels like it's him against Flint. It's never, let's compromise and try to make this work so we can live. He doesn't want to live legitimate. He doesn't want to live legitimate because he feels like if you take that life away from him he's gonna feel like he's nothing which i think is so far from the truth you know what i'm saying so i'm looking forward to seeing how you know how this is going to proceed for the rest of the season i'm interested to see it because it's so interesting the dynamic of we're going from one from from breaking down the fort to you know now we got hornigold now we got hornigold challenging flint's captaincy it's i don't think he's going to win but it's true he might still take his men and go up that hill you know what i'm saying um he but the thing about it is the thing about it is who, it's not a lot of dudes that really know where the orca is um i mean I, I guess if you get some guys from flint's crew to turn on him you would have some people who know because i don't think they know exactly where it is you know what i'm saying like if ornigo should actually win the vote i guess he would he would have to get some guys from flint's crew to to be on his side for that for him to achieve the you know to win anyways um 
it's a tough situation. It's a tough situation. I, I don't know how Flint is going to cut up, come out on top of this one, but he somehow he's going to pull it off. Mr. Silver went back to Max and going off. You know what I'm saying? Like, she just went crazy, and Max is going to protect her. Ah, man, it, it's just so many good plot lines. So many good plot lines. And the thing about it is this, when I, when I talk about this and people, you know, want to talk about this on the tail end of this, of this review, because I see the comments coming in on my, on my Vikings season six, episode 16 <laughs> reaction. And, you know, people want to say, oh, you know, you're not paying attention to the show. Why does everything have to concern storyline and all this other stuff? I'm like, dude. I can't you guys can go look at the comments, you know, it, it's just it's tiring It's tiring to even to when I when I see it even though I'm not really really tired It's just to see it is just like you guys just don't you, you, you don't get it You don't get the type of person that I am and why I judge things like this because see if, if I'm reacting to a show if, if there's certain things that you enjoyed that I don't enjoy and I talk about it it's a problem you know what I'm saying they're saying to me that I miss the whole subtext of the show and I'm just like what I've been praising this show for four seasons talking about all of those subtext that you're talking about they completely went off course of everything they were trying to establish from season one to season four in five and six they completely abolished everything and i'm telling you guys if black sales ends up to be the same thing i'm gonna be talking about the same thing because series do tend to go downhill after certain after a certain amount of time tend to not always because there's plenty of shows that i've reacted to on this channel that i've given props you know what i'm saying walking dead season eight worst season in the history of walking dead but it's not worth it's not bad to the point where it's unwatchable right to the point where it's unbought no nine and ten brought brought it back to greatness you know what i'm saying and i talked about the bad things about it too so um right now black sales is knocking it out the park two and a half you know what i'm saying one and a half season in knocking it out the park you know um, you guys say all four seasons are fire, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, it's your boy, Terabyte Reacts. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.